Hello friends, Tal here. Welcome to another Overwatch Beta Quick Guide. This time taking a look at the robot turret, Bastion. Now, Bastion is a bit of a difficult character for me. He's not my favorite. I don't particularly like him. I am okay at playing him, and he's gone through massive amounts of changes. He's been a terror, an annoyance, um, to a kind of manageable state, then a gigantic monster, and now into something where it's not entirely sure if in the future in ranked play he'll be used as often because he has a lot of hard counters. He's not as strong as he used to be, but then again, against certain certain in certain situations, he's just a gigantic pain in the ass. Anyways, he's a defense hero, the first of the series that we're going to be taking a look at. He can repair himself to heal up, and he has a tank configuration that gives him a large boost in health and damage. So, his self-repair is his ability, it just heals him over time, it can be used without cooldown, and it can be used in both his turret and his recon form, which is his shift ability, the ability to switch between both. His primary fire is uh, just like a, like a rifle, I guess. Uh, it has pretty good um, accuracy, it doesn't spread as much, and it is very effective at using it if you're not in your... Uh, turn form but then it changes to like a, a chain machine gun a minigun basically with a bunch more excuse me a bunch more ammo um bigger spread has to be said but a lot of damage very very fast does a lot of damage so bastion 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 um his melee is a fist just punch something in the face again no secondary fire if you burst fire with his primary weapon when he's in recon form it's very accurate and the spread isn't actually too bad when you get into the full form. It only has 20 shots though, so it's not as much. Um, he's not meant to be played in this form, especially because he has no mobility. His, you know, he doesn't have any secondary abilities that work with this. Uh, I said no mobility and then no secondary abilities that really work on this form. But it's still better if you come into a situation like, okay, I'm walking through here and it's, oh shit, Reaper. If you do this, you're dead. You're already dead. So if you see Reaper, you start trying to run away, try to aim for his head, try to burst fire, just kill him in that form. Um, it's better than trying to siege up because you can be killed very quickly if you're transitioning. But anyways, his shift ability is his turret. Now, look at that. 200 ammo, much quicker fire rate, spreads a little bit bigger, but you just delete people. Absolutely delete people. Characters like Tracer, like, like Hanzo, like Reaper... If you catch them and you're able to shoot them for just two seconds even, look at this, one, two, dead. You just melt people's faces. And it's actually one of the reasons why he's been so hated, but also a weakness of his. In this form, he cannot move. He does not gain any extra health or armor. Only his tank form gives him extra uh, health to, it's about 150, so it goes to 450. Um, and on his back is a blue box it look, kind of looks like a like a blue cage but sideways a uh, rectangular one that is his weak spot if you shoot that weak spot he takes a lot of increased damage um, but he can easily just turn around and shoot so you don't you don't necessarily want to just run in and melee it because he will just turn around and murder you uh, unless he's very low thing about bastion is he's changed a couple of times when he first came out he did not have 360 degree movement or view i should say um, he had a limited restricted area, he had a little shield though that helped him stay alive, and he did not have a weak spot. When the fir game first launched into beta, people were very frustrated with Bastion, until they kind of figured out, oh, okay, it's pretty easy to just get out of his line of sight. You know, characters like Genji destroyed Bastions, uh, Hanzo Scattershot destroys Bas Bastions, uh, Explosive Damage Junkrat is the perfect counter to Bastion. Um, it was you know it was really good you easily figured out how to deal with him but then he came when the beta came back he had a huge massive amount of increased health when you go into turn form he had like 600 health he was uh, able to just move wherever he wanted as as a sentry it was it was a giant pain and now he's been changed again to not have the health bonus still have all this you know area of sight and have the weak spot so Suffice to say, it's possible he could be changed again, and I'll have to come back and update this guide. But as of right now, no increased health, full view, uh, fuel view, full view, and weak spot. So his second ability just kind of heals him. You can use it as a turret. You could use it as recon. You cannot move when you're doing it, and you have to hold it down if you want to channel. But it heals you to full. There's no cooldown. So pretty simple. And then his ultimate is tank form. You get 150 uh, health. 
you do so much more damage. It is area of effect damage though, so you can't hurt yourself if you're aiming down. Uh, try not to die, and you can still repair yourself in that form. So basically, he's a very simple character. There's not a lot going on with Bastion. The only complexity of him is figuring out when to go into turn form, when to pop out of turn form, knowing the map so you know the choke points, knowing where to defend. Uh, he's very good as a defensive, um, like if you're trying to defend an area or trying to defend objectives versus being offensive. You can be an offensive bash, and I've seen it be done. It's a lot of fun. It's it's very, you know, it's still viable, but it's not the, big, the best choice. Um, overall, my thoughts on Bastion are, I'm not... I know why he exists, and I, I can see why they would want to have a character like him, especially because he's a robot, he has a cute little bird, it's amazing. Um, I think that maybe he shouldn't exist in the game, personally. If, like, if we could go backwards, maybe keep the shield or keep the limited movement, take away the vulnerability, but don't add a lot of extra health. There's a lot of different things that can be done to him. Um, he's not my favorite to play personally speaking, but he can be fun. I've had some success with him. The situations you want to use him is when you're being defensive, when your team is able to keep you alive or defend you for some point. Um, paired up with a Reinhardt or a Winston, you have a hell of a time, especially if a Mercy's on you as well, increasing your damage and giving you some heals. It's a lot of fun, but there are easy counters to him. There's easy ways to get around him. If your team is all murdered and or you're in a situation where there's some people behind you there's some people in front of you it's not a situation where um, like a payload let's say a, pay, a payload map if the team is steam, if the enemy team is steamrolling your team for whatever reason they got through the first objective easily and you're having a lot of time uh, a lot of hard time pushing the payload back and they're just they're advancing very quickly switch from bastion it's not in your best interest you want to hold down an area if you can't hold down an area and it's just moving forward moving forward moving forward you're not going to be in the situation where you can keep it up. You have to keep switching out. That's the most important thing. The complexity is in knowing when to use the turn mode and the map and the situations for which each one calls for. Um, it's like every other hero in this game. I just want to stress the point that you do not want to stick to one character the entire game if things aren't working out. Overwatch is a game that thrives on switching your characters out, switching the composition, and adjusting to your team and your enemy team and the map and the situation at hand. Uh, but anyways, Bastion is a pretty simple character again. He's kind of fun to play, not my favorite. Um, I like him more than Torbjorn, and I'll get into it in, in that guide, but there you go. I mean, he's a simple character. He's a lot of fun. His bird is the best. That the bird is that bird should be a character all of, in and of itself. I don't know if it has a name, but it's it's amazing. Uh, but anyways, this has been my quick guide to Bastion in the Overwatch beta. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.